Hi, welcome to my setup here. This is my current setup and I've just downloaded, so we're on Cinnamon and I've downloaded Mate. Let's have a look if it's already there. So these are the things that have been downloaded. This is the one I'm having now, so I'm running Cinnamon and I'm gonna try out another version. There is already XFCE that I've tried. Now I'm gonna make a clone an empty clone and this is going to be Linux Mint 18.2 and we're going to try out Mate first. So next clone and now I have to tell them that it should load up Mate. Start and there we go. We're off. Don't show capture like so. It's normal that it takes some CPU. You see the CPU to the left side, the ultimate Linux Mint conky there. It's all uh, yellow, meaning that's my CPU working. And the memory, I did give some of uh, my memory to the virtual machine, virtual box, but I don't know how much anymore. Let's make it a bit bigger. There you go. Continue, raise, continue. Brussels is correct, Belgian is correct. And then we go to this one and we want to log in automatically. There's a new login in uh, Cinnamon and in the next mint 18.2. Um, so that's uh, something to look at if you would like that. I always auto login. I just want to put, to start up my computer and then be ready in eight or ten seconds. Not um, do not want to log in into the login manager or display manager, but it's there. So where is it actually? Hmm. All applications probably here somewhere. And one up. Not here. Let's try with log or something. Login window, that's the one you need. This is what you get and can change. It's good that it has HIDPI support. That's good. Suppose in this in five years time, we'll have more and more on most of the monitors will be that way. Let's pause it a bit. Okay, let's restart. Pressing enter. There we are. And why are we installing this? Well, I just wanted to check, of course, if the Sardi icons and the Surfing icons are okay. So the Sardi icons, Google it. And this is the one you want, Source Forge, download it. Let's do the same for Surfing. That's on GitHub. Save. Uh -huh. Okay. Surfing is here. Download it. Save. Da -da. Okay. And now we can have a look. Don't need this anymore. Extract it here. And extract it here. Okay. Let's open up another window control H there is not dot icons dot icons is now there I've unpacked it twice I see anyway this is surfing move and this is Sardi. ok 
Okay, fine, and move. And two files more. There we are. So we have all the icons to test. And now we're gonna find our way to change it, maybe in the control center, maybe in the appearance. I see it down there, this one. And then customize icons, better take file manager and we have as file manager Kaja, not Kaja, not sure how it's pronounced. And this is what we have. Let's have a look what we can create. So all the way up and all the way down. Here the start the icon start. So let's go over them one by one. These are all the possibilities from Sardi, but this is only 20 icon themes, only I say, because there is a Sardi extra and that's hosting another 103. So why does this many icons? Sardi is uh, created to have, um, to be changed actually, it's an SVG. And SVGs are text files, so there are lots of scripts inside Sardi Flexible, inside Sardi Coast Flexible, inside anything with Colora. So these things can be edited, can be changed. There is this shell script, then it will only change the colors, and then you have a new theme, a new color theme. So it's interesting way, and why not download it while we're at it in the meantime, and wait for it to download in the meantime let's have a look further down the road so you have all these kind of um, icons this is surfing already and it can be anything you want these things have changed in the meantime up here all these icons are different this is surfing and this is sardi and this is the mono look and there is also a colorful look and a blue look and a sardi flat look so it depends what you choose and you have other applications. It's not just folders. There are six applications, uh, icons. So this, these things, application icons, and there are 11 kind of folders. So it's up to you to, to switch and to change and to use the modularity. So you can use folders you like with another icon theme. It's just changing one line inherits and that's it. Then you have a new icon theme. Let's see if it's downloaded. Extra, extract here. This will take a bit. Um, what is a bit? Properties, I mean, it says here already, 117.6 megabyte zipped. So yeah, it's big, it's normal. It's because of all the possibilities Sardi provides. If you have 20 icon themes, and I don't know, six or seven of them are, uh, you can change it with scripts. It's just um, your fantasy that is, uh, well, it's up to you to find the colors and there are 60 million colors and you can combine sometimes in icons four colors with each other, logo, a top, a behind, a background, something like that, you know. So it's four colors you can combine out of the 60 millions, you, you can have millions of combinations. Yeah. So that's what I did. I made some combinations in colors and the results are in here, let's take uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. this one, for instance, Opla, not yet available. These things can um, be looked at, downloaded, and perhaps not recently deleted. Yeah, I know, I know. Go ahead. Maybe now it's ready. So, downloads. The Sadi Extra Master, let's get everything. Control X to. Uh, way up is this the way up 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 control h icons control v and here you see already all the colors coming up you can always get rid of these things these things are for github maintenance and all that so we don't need those but now we have more flexibility more options this is green version black version and so on and so on I'll just press and keep pressing. So 103 versions. This is a special one, maybe a bit slower to go over it and 
as you can see, folders come and change. Well, the color, uh, there's folders, there are 11 folders. Some of them are the same and just change the color. So you can choose 16 million colors to have uh, to go with a wallpaper or go with anything you like, a conky or something. You just choose whatever you want. And if these settings, these 103 are not enough, there are these scripts and you run the script with another kind of red or another kind of orange. So you're uh, free to do that. Indeed, I want you to do that. That's why these scripts are in there. Use the script. It's just changing one, two, three, sometimes four colors. And then it's uh, a complete new theme. You look. And that's the idea of Sadi. And we are almost there to the end. <coughs> Here we are. So that's the last one, Sadi Vertex. Leaving it at this one. So um, why are we here? Yeah, true. We are actually here to take a look at the file system. And then we type user. Um, it does not go there, but we go there. Share icons. Now he listens. No, not icons, Eric. We always do that. Applications. This one. All right. So just want to check if all the colors are okay, but I am gonna change things around. Alex appearance here, okay, customize icons. I'm gonna take Sadi flexible. Sadi flexible, Sadi ghost flexible. Um, this would be also a nice one, but let's take a blue one makes it easy for me close close everything should be now blue otherwise i have some work to do this is okay this is okay all the rest okay so this is the best way to see everything this is all the applications and all the applications are blue so this is okay i'm gonna check anyway also always file system user and i was on my way to that user share applications so this is okay these things are okay as well they do not have an icon they never will have an icon this is okay but it's not an sadly icon problem it's a problem from our software engineers stop doing this guys um, open application is better let's see what do we have to open it with my recommendation guys is um, sublime text because in Sublime Text, I can actually say I want to get rid of this. This is the solution, get rid of that. And XPMP, get rid of that. But as you can see, I can't type anything. It's read only, but you can easily install Sublime Text and then you can save it directly. Right mouse click, open the Sublime Text, change, enter, save, and then a pop up comes. And write your uh, admin password in it, and it's done. Now, how to fix these icons here? Quite easy, actually. If you know how, that's always the case, if you know how. So, um, let's go back. Well, we should stay in Eric Dubois. And there is this Ultimate Linux Mint 18.2. Doesn't matter if you get it from somewhere else. In every GitHub, I have this line there. And what is this line? We need uh, the hard code fixer. A little program that says fix my icons. This one, hard code fixer. So I'm gonna open this in the terminal. And I'm gonna say run this thing. Now I should actually probably do the following. Voila, this one I'm gonna put it here. That one I'm gonna put it there. So watch these three icons and then i'm gonna run it and there you are these icons have been fixed this is again following the theme so it's nothing that's wrong with our system linux mint or the sadi or the surfing icons is because of software engineers that are pointing the information to let's open it again pop, pop. text what was it again text editor 
it's the hard-coded link that uh, happens to the pathway to the icon that breaks the system and that's now fixed. All right, so that's the hard code fixer in, um, well, you've seen it at work. So everything looks okay. The only thing left for me to do is now as well. Can we put it here? Can we put it there? And there was a way like so. So now it's in favorites. I can put this up here like so. Customize. So icons, this was all savvy, but there's also another one I have to check. And that's the surf and let's do the surf and arc. Close. What you'll get is something completely different. It's also an icon theme, of course, but it's not anything like we see in Sadi. Sadi is quite rigid. It's circular, it has a white border, it has a white uh, icon in the center. And this can be anything, you know, it's just a, a colorful icon theme inspired on other icon themes created with the help of other icon themes. And I've created some more icons myself. So this is surfing and everything looks just dandy. So that's that. We've tested uh, our system here. I believe we have an info about me. No, not the wrong one. An info in the case. Now it's not here. It must be somewhere here. But we're working here on, uh, on mate. Mate, I always say mate, mate. So I do think they have this welcome screen. Voila. There you have it, some information. So Mate, 64 bits, and everything looks good. Sadly, and server icons are good to go. Enjoy.